you know, I've had a lot of Hollywood actors um, lately moaning about the Hollywood system. You know, I recently heard something about um, Sean Penn, you know, you know, bitching about, you know, he's no enjoyed any any films for the last 15 years or something like that because they've all been a miserable ex miserable experience because he's, you know, the, you know, the type of films that he's doing, whatever, and nobody wants to hear fucking Hollywood stars moaning in this world about how things are uncreative for them and no fulfilling, you know, in a, a, in a world that's got so much chaos and poverty and tragedy. It's like, read the fucking room, you know, it's like, um, don't really feel sorry for you, you know, it's like, but that's besides the point anyway. But I've heard other actors as well, I heard another actor that was in Sex and the City, mourning about his, you know, it's unfulfilling creatively, whatever, and I'm sure there's many fucking successful Hollywood actors that want to bitch but don't, you know, they're just doing green screen movies and fucking spandex movies because they're doing it for the money and whatever. If you do the deal with the devil and you sell it and you want to have a famous big career and just make money, shut the fuck up, take the money and do it and whatever and do your own fucking films, do your own production company, make your own stuff, you know, and a lot of them do. I've got that love-hate thing with Ricky Gervais but I still kind of respect the fact that it's Ricky Gervais you know, as a stand-up, he's made his own serials and they've sold them to Netflix, direct to Netflix. He's made a good living. He's wrote what he wanted to write, even though a lot of the stuff I don't like. I'm not a fan of it because he's very sentimental. You know, I that. Um, but I can respect that. Somebody's just did their own thing. Don't mourn about it. They don't need the fucking industry. That's why you can take the piss out of Hollywood. It doesn't need them. I respect that more. Just do your own fucking thing then. Don't bitch about it. And for years I used to think, because I pursued wanting to be an actor at first, and then sometimes I'd think, oh, I fucked up. No, being, you know, pursuing an acting career, whatever. But I've seen the kind of technology changing, you know, a way back years ago after my first film. And I've seen, I had the experience of the industry and how creatively restricting it was and you know I've had that little experience on a smaller scale and that was a big turn off for me so I, I couldn't really envisage myself in an industry where it's like they tell you what to do this and do that and you can't really do what you want to do and I've still got big scripts and if I get a big script made fine um, but I would just be doing that um, you know to enhance my own production company to enhance my own smaller films as a profile race you know and if they gave me a budget and they said you know do this and do it well fine fine you pay me a big fat fucking paycheck you know you've got to know how to work the system you know but there's nothing worse than people fucking moaning about it especially where the world does but my point i'm trying to make is i think we're in a, an, an insanely good time where you can create your own stuff and create your own work and create your own and it may be a smaller scale but you get a bigger scale it just like I said, there's a lot of these Hollywood stars mourning about how uncreative it is and how unfulfilling it is. Um, if you get it in a smaller scale, it's much more creatively fulfilling. And if you build it as your own creative business, it can be eventually it can be your job. So for me, it's a no-brainer today. It's, I think it's so important to build your own stuff and do your own thing. Um, and at least if you can get to a point where you can earn, earn a living from it, you know, and you're happy earning a living from it. You might not be a big global star, you might not make multi-millions, but most people, you know, and a lot of people don't like their fucking jobs, but they still do their jobs. You know, if you can do a job that you like, and even if you're earning pretty much what they earn, but you love your job creatively, then you've won. Do you know what I mean? That, that's the important thing. It, for me, it's not about making multi-millions, it's about continuing to be creative. It's really important and, and satisfied rather than being really successful financially, but you're just not satisfied with what you're doing because that's kind of weird. It's like having a dream job. It's like having a dream career. Or oh, I've made it as an actor. I've made it as a filmmaker, but then you find it really unfulfilling, you know, but you've took the money. That's the kind of weird thing. Then it's, well, it's not a dream job, is it then? It's getting that balance between both where you're doing something that you really love doing and doing what you want to do, but you're getting a decent wage for it as well. You've managed to build a little creative business, you know, even if it's your own little cottage industry, even if it's your own little niche around the world. I'll take that any day over massive success and being unfulfilled, absolutely. Anyway, just a little thought. Um, thanks for watching my videos. If you want to help spread this channel please give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe to it please subscribe i'm in post-production for psycho sex dolls although if somebody sees this a year later psycho sex dolls hopefully will be fucking two or three for it you know but for the moment um so if you may be interested check out the link you know either the kickstarter pre-launch page or the website for it thanks a lot cheers